Welcome to Forbes Newsroom. I'm joined by Dr. Marshall Shepard, a climate scientist and Forbes senior contributor. Dr. Shepard, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. So you wrote a piece for Forbes that has gone viral, and it is about the phenomenon behind teenagers wearing sweatshirts and hoodies in extreme heat. So can you tell us what you found in your research? Well, it's not research, actually. It's just something I wrote uh, as a climate scientist who has a 15-year-old son that does it. And so I was very curious about why they do it. Uh, Typically, when I write for Forbes, it's about floods and hurricanes and tornadoes and heat. But I was looking at him one day in the middle of the Georgia heat, and I was like, why do you have this hoodie on? And so I started poking around, doing some um, uh, you know, Google searches and some peer-reviewed literature searches, and I find that you know, stuffy parents like me, we may not understand. There may be some other reasons that people are wearing these hoodies, ranging from simple comfort to protection from UV radiation, uh, hiding tattoos, body images. But the one that stuck out to me was something that uh, I, I saw in an essay uh, out there that said, you know, these hoodies may be like comfort. They may be like uh, weighted blankets. And there's peer reviewed literature that suggests that these weighted blankets blankets can provide comfort. They can mitigate anxiety uh, and and various other types of things that we see uh, that maybe some of these teens are dealing with. Sure. And you mentioned your son and he was the first teen that you saw wearing a hoodie in the extreme Georgia heat. So what did he say to you when you asked him, why are you wearing the hoodie? Yeah, he wasn't the first. There were several teenagers that wear heat hoodies around here. He's just I, I just saw it on him that day. And I, I finally asked him kids all over this place and all over the nation apparently are wearing hoodies. I mean, so I want to clarify, it's not just my son that I noticed. All of the teens really are doing it. I just asked him why he did it. Now, his answer was pretty pragmatic and simple. He said, Dad, it's cold in my classrooms and we've started school back here. So for him, it's simply about being cold in his classrooms. But if you look at the sheer number of people, and I believe it's why this piece went viral, there are so many parents that are seeing their kids do it. I got so many tweets about this. There have to be other reasons. And so some of the scientific literature suggests that for some of these teens, it may be about a comfort or about reducing anxiety. It's almost like that security blanket from Linus, if you think back to the Peanuts and Charlie Brown. Uh, I, again, this wasn't peer-reviewed scientific research. Uh, no credible study is as credible as Forbes is as an outlet. Uh, science is not done in Forbes magazine or any other magazine. So uh, perhaps this will uh promote or encourage more rigorous future science studies, because this is not my area of expertise. I'm a weather climate scientist. Uh, I just was intrigued by it as a human interest story and as a parent. And studies coming out of the pandemic have shown that there have been an increase in both depression and anxiety in teenagers. Do you think that the pandemic was a catalyst for teenagers to wear sweatshirts? You know, it it could be. Again, I, I, I see teens doing it I personally noticed it more after the pandemic, uh, but I certainly had many people tweeting me said, I, I've done this for many, many years. But, you know, the pandemic was tough on all of us, but particularly teens that, when they had to stay inside and not be able to socialize with their friends. And, and so, uh, as you just noted, there are certainly some studies that suggest higher anxiety rates, depression rates, and so forth. Uh, because of the pandemic and the post-pandemic society that we live in. So who knows? Uh, Perhaps some of those studies are on to something, maybe these sort of studies that show uh, anxiety and, and, um, you know, reduction of of activity, hyperactivity in kids and so forth using weighted blankets. Maybe, just maybe, and it's speculative, uh, Mm -hmm. maybe these hoodies provide a similar comfort zone. Now, others might say, hey, it's just a trend in fashion and I do it because everyone else does it. Again, I want to emphasize there's no conclusive science in this Forbes article. Uh, It's just anecdotal, but there were certainly some pieces that connected the dots for me as a scientist, even though I don't do psychological or depression type scientists science i do weather and climate science but i do understand the peer review literature and there were some trails of evidence that suggest this is certainly worth looking into and do you think we are going to continue to see this trend throughout post-pandemic america or do you think that this will 
follow teens through adulthood or they'll stop as a teenager wearing hoodies in this extreme heat. Wow, it'll it'll be interesting to see. It, we'll we'll see whether it is indeed a trend, as some simply suggest it is, and saying, Dr. Shepard, you're overthinking this, or whether there is something deeper there. Again, I hope that this uh, you know, leads to more research by that community that has done research on weighted blankets and anxiety. Uh, I'd love to see more scholarly research on the hoodie effect. And again, I'm not the person to do it. I can tell you all about climate change and extreme drought and heat and floods and hurricanes. Uh, I would love to see colleagues with expertise in that area uh, dig into this because I, I couldn't really find much in the peer reviewed literature uh, on on hoodies and and heat, I could certainly find uh, evidence with it as with respect to weighted blankets. Much of what I initially found about hoodies came from social media and from either an essay that I cited in the Forbes article. And is there any dangerous side effect of wearing a hoodie in extreme heat? You know, I you know I used to kid my son. I was like, you're gonna really you're gonna have heat stress, or you're gonna have some kind of heat related issue. You're gonna burn up in that hoodie in 90 degree temperatures. But candidly. He's doing just fine wearing the hoodie. And so I've, I've really kind of eased up on him. And it's, it, you know, it is what it is. And again, my, I, I don't have to detect any sort of negative issues with why he's wearing the hoodie. Uh, again, uh, he's just one of, I think, thousands to millions of kids that are doing it. So there's nothing really anomalous about it. And so I, I don't know that it's really a big concern. Now, there may be other underlying concerns for some kids if they're having body issues or uh, other things that they're trying to hide. Now, that's a real concern. Uh, but if this is just a trend or if the kids are just cold or if they just need a little extra security blanket around them, hey, uh, you know, it is what it is. Have at it. And that's really the approach that I'm taking with my own son. So your article went viral and a lot of parents can sympathize with you. What has the response been since you wrote this? Unbelievable. It's just crazy. I, last I checked, it was headed towards 3 million views, which is, you know, I've written some pretty successful ar articles on aspects of weather and climate, but nothing that has gotten to that level. I mean, I've had people contacting me, emailing me, tweeting. Uh, it appears multiple times in my social media feeds as people are tagging. So, you know, I, I joked in a tweet, you know, I've written about some really important topics over the, the last several years that I've written for Forbes. Things that, from my perspective, are extremely important, like climate change or risk associated with hurricanes. But what is the article that goes most viral in my contributing career? An article about hoodies. Well, it sounds like it's really resonating with people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, and you, you know what they say, you never know what resonates with the broader public. So you just ride the wave. And interestingly enough, though I was talking about hoodies and heat, uh, I took it as an opportunity because I am a climate scientist to talk about the fact that uh, we are seeing increased intensity and frequency of heat waves due to climate change. And even this summer, we expect uh, uh, warm temperatures in parts of the United States into August and parts of September. And so even as I wrote about hoodies and sweatshirts and, and heat, I still wanted to go back to my core swim lane and talk about climate and weather. And so I was able to sneak a little of that in too. Good. And what has been the funniest response that you've received so far? Well, you know, one of them I honestly couldn't share in a public format, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, it, it, I've, I've gotten some really funny ones. I've gotten some that were a little vitriolic. And how dare you write about this? I still don't quite understand why you get so angry about it. Um, but the range of responses that I've received are, are, um, are amazing. The one that resonates the most and the most common is, is, wow, thank you for writing this. You've at least given me another perspective. Maybe I'll ease up on my kid. And how has your perspective changed after writing this? Yeah, you know, I, I, again, I can't say that what I wrote speaks to every reason every single teenager out there is wearing a hoodie in the heat. But, you know, I have relaxed my own angst and about it in terms of my own child because, you know, he's a, he's a well-functioning child. He does well. He said, Dad, look, I just get cold in my classrooms at school. That's why I wear a hoodie. And so 
I leave him be uh, there, as they say, bigger fish to fry right now than that one. But nevertheless, uh, it was really enlightening to just see how these sort of human interest or public interest stories can viral. But again, my goal as a scientist, as a contributor to Forbes, is to always try to at least get people thinking about science in a way that perhaps they didn't before. And speaking of science, are there any other trends that are climate related that you've seen? You know, I'm, I'm just more worried about climate in general right now. It's the climate crisis is the issue of our time. Uh, it is really like a pandemic on steroids because it will impact us for years and decades to come, for generations to come. So uh, it is impacting our weather, sea level, economics, agriculture, water supply. Every facet of our lives is impacted by our, sh our shifting and changing climate. And so uh, for those that are listening or watching right now, uh, much of the, what I write about in Forbes will end up being in that weather climate space. And it's something that we need to pay attention to because it's not about a polar bear the year 2080. It's about our lives today. It's about our kitchen table issues. Well, it sounds like you really resonated with a lot of parents out there. So, Dr. Shepard, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you so much for digging a little deeper on this.